Proving vote buying is difficult. Every election, we have always been marred with allegations of vote buying, but it's seldom that candidates are held liable for committing this grave offense. Now, how do we know if vote buying is for real if no one person in his right mind will admit to have received bribes in exchange for their votes? Here are two things we learned as we went around Samar for our election coverage. First, the town or city center gets a vibrant local economy a day before elections. This is particularly true in small cities located in provinces. Bus terminals become filled with people from far-flung communities who go to the city center to spend the money they receive from local election operators. We visited one present here in Samar National High School and we saw a shoe vendor selling his products in front of the gate of the school. Montoy de la Cruz said that he strategically positioned his shoe products there to attract voters who obtain their money from candidates who are vying votes. This is his first time of doing this, but he admitted that he got a number of customers because of this move. Second, you will notice that money being circulated are new and freshly withdrawn from the bank. Then, if you look closely on this money, you will see that there are staple wire markings near the corner. We even receive some money with staple wires in it. You see, election operators usually staple the money they distribute to the barangays, along with the names of candidates. Some are really creatively discreet by folding the money in a smaller piece so that they can easily hide this from the media and police authorities. You will also notice that when you fold the paper bills correctly, staple marks can also be seen because they use this to keep the money intact. So there you go. These are some indicators we found on the field while going around summer. If you have additional election-related offenses that you would like to report, log on to our PH Polk microsite and help us crowdsource these malpractices. Derek Alviola, Rappler, Catbalogan City.